obviously the growth of the game is fantastic, but I just wonder what, what challenges you've experienced that have come along with it. Yeah, I'll talk, because obviously I had that recently. Um, obviously, I made a tackle against Man United, which was very, very mistimed. Um, and I took the hit on that, took ownership of the situation, apologised to um, the opposition that it had happened to, apologised to the girls and was really remorseful for the situation that I'd caused. Um, however, coming on social media after the game, I felt the need in having to write a statement and apologise. Um, the statement was put out there more for the fact that I logged into my social media and I got thousands of messages telling me that I'm never going to be able to have kids, I hope my period hurts, um, just things that aren't even associated with football. And I, feel, I want to share this with, with the people out there because I don't want anybody to be in the situation that I was in. Um, I'm lucky to have only ever received, received that abuse at that time. Um, I know people get it week in, week out, day in, day out. Um, but yeah, it, it massively affected me. Um, I remember feeling very, very low. Um, I remember I cried. Um, I'm not a crier, but I cried um, and I just I felt worthless. Um, I was in a situation where I wasn't going to be able to get on the grass for, for three weeks. I wasn't going to be able to play out there for, for a long time because we had the international break um, in between. And I just thought to myself, I just thought, am I actually any good at football? Like, you just put yourself in a situation where you just question everything. Um, and it was me coming back into City, seeing the girls, getting back on the grass, getting in training, building that confidence. And it was the girls that massaged me, helped me and picked me up from that situation. But you kind of just question everything about it because you think, who are these people out there to hurt you? And, and why are they trying to cause that? And I think, for me, it real made me realise who's important, whose opinions you listen to, whose voices actually matter. Um, and yeah, people are out there to cause problems or people necessarily won't have seen the tackle but have just seen somebody that they can they can attack. Um, and yeah, I was at the forefront of that but I'm very, very thankful for the girls that are around me and my support network in, in allowing me to have the confidence to even talk about it now but obviously to get back on the grass and to put in performances for, for the team. I think that hurt you hearing that, didn't it? I could, hear, I could see you sort of shaking your head just hearing what your teammate's been through. Yeah, it's not nice listening to that. Cause she's obviously a really good friend as well and I was obviously going through it with her. Um, I think for me on, on the subject, I think the way the game's at, we've, we've asked for this um, coverage of the game and we won Sky Sports to be involved in the game and we won all these fantastic things and we're also not stupid, we know what comes with that. It means more viewers, more people are going to watch our games more license for people to have an opinion and I think as footballers we're completely fine with that I don't think that's something that we shy away from I spoke about it the other day if you want to question our performances and, and stuff absolutely fine everyone has a right to an opinion on, on us as footballers and performances on the grass that's completely fine but I think when things become personal and we're taken away from the pitch I think that's when there's a problem and I think that's something we're seeing a lot and too much at the moment um, how do we change that I'm still unsure the answer if I'm honest um, but I think for me, and I can, I can speak about Georgia's situation because she sat next to me. Obviously, to, to see a, a player who's just given 100% on the pitch, who has missed time to tackle, and by the way, she owned the tackle and apologised, accepted the red card because this and this is football and we're going to make mistakes. Um, to go through kind of what she went through was, was just unacceptable. Um, and I mean, same for me. I think I'm such, in such a different headspace than Georgia is with it now because I went through for a bit of a longer time and... I'm probably a little bit older than Georgia, and I can I can see things from a, a different a different way. Um, so, and for you, was it it was coming to City having been a United player? Yeah. Was it? yeah. And and listen, I'm, I've said this so many times. I'm not stupid. I grew up as a Liverpool fan. If one of my players went from Liverpool to Everton, I would be so angry too, and I would be disappointed. So, I was completely aware of the situation I was putting myself in, and I had no problems with people questioning me as a footballer and me me decision. But it's when it becomes a personal thing because. Ultimately, people don't know me, don't know me as a person, um, and obviously some of the things you read and stuff about yourself. I mean, back then, I, I used to almost think, God, is that me? Like, is that is that who I am? Like, because I you actually do you doubt yourself a little bit, and then I suppose over time, like George said, you put things into perspective and you go, it really matters, and 
what really what, what opinions really matter it's your teammates your family and those at your football club and if you can differentiate between what's really important and what you choose to read then that's probably where you find the balance because listen everyone can say don't go on and read it it's so easy to say that but we're all on social media and we all we all have a platform to 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 showcase the game it's natural you're going to read comments and they're not always going to be nice um it's part and part of the game but i think the bit we probably struggle as footballers with is I suppose when it gets a little bit more personal and it's not necessarily towards you as a player it's you as a person